So I'm going to be doing the INTP loop. I have already done one video, but it's a lot more in depth. This is kind of more of an overview. So if you want to see that video, link is in the description below. And before I get into it, I just want to bring up my friendship journals. Um, these are journals that just are to help you build connection with your friends and really could be anybody, people you're dating, your mom, uh, your spouse. Um, there are four different sections. First section is a trivia, how well you get to know each other. And second section are questions that are catered to help get to know each other in a deeper level. And then the third section are just some fun little activities. Fourth section are questions that are catered to the, like the friendship. Like, what are we? What are some things that about me um, that I draw out of you or something like that, that other people don't? Um, and so if that is something that might be interesting to you, a uh, link is in the description below. There's both a hardcover and a soft cover or whatever, paperback. Nah. All right, so INTP, our function stack is introverted thinking, extroverted intuition, introverted sensing, and extroverted feeling. When us INTPs are in our prime, we are utilizing our first two functions. Our extroverted intuition brings all these possibilities and we refine it through rigorous logic and processing through it and we don't get overwhelmed by the stimulus because our introverted thinking is able to comprehend it and bring it down to great logical analysis and stuff. But when we're starting to get really um, stressed, we start to utilize our introverted sensing, which then when we are are now drawing from the past and analyzing it, then we can find ourselves in a tizzy. But initially, it's not a bad thing. But when we find ourselves in this loop and can't get out of it, we actually are now obsessing over things. And so this is just going to be kind of an overview of those obsessions. My more in-depth video in the link description below kind of goes into my personal walk with it, I suppose. But some of the overview things are we start analyzing the past to death. We could become highly nostalgic and idolizing the past like it was better back then than it is now. And then we're also trying to solve the past by analyzing it, by looking for answers from mistakes that we might have done or actions by other people or events. We can be trapped in the emotions and the behaviors that were in the past. The information that we're gathering through our TI in our introverted sensing becomes more and more subjective because it's only what we have experienced, not the exterior experiences that we're normally used to um, processing through extroverted intuition. And future relationships can actually be smeared with paranoia if they at all resemble some issue in the past that really hurt us. This can also hinder the INTP from making decisions because if at all those decisions might reflect things that had happened in the past, um, well, they don't want that to happen again. And so they're going to be stuck with being able to move forward in certain things. So some ways to help. First off, though, you got to address what is putting you into that loop. Um, I know for me, it was a lot of needing to reconcile with people, certain situations, certain systems, um, because I just felt more and more suffocated. And if I didn't do anything about it, I was going to pretty much cut everything out of my life to keep me from basically getting hurt but you can't do that so while also dealing with the things that you're struggling with some other things that can really help are just building new experiences going out doing things trying something new it's just the stimulation around you to have new possibilities having an enfp friend can be really helpful just because they're going to always be wanting to be doing something and so they can help you kind of take your mind off of what's going on in the in the past and so basically the INTP needs to stop fixing the past. The, the, the past has happened, and the more they dwell in it, the worse it's going to get. It's not actually going to solve anything. And so finding out what is drawing you to that past, make peace with it the best you can. And that's going to be a process, while also new experiences, new hobbies, just find ways to enjoy life. Stop getting so stuck in those things. Yes, those things have happened. And I understand as well, like crap happens. Um, but we're never going to be able to move forward, build healthy relationships if we get stuck back there. That's just kind of a brief overview. Um, I hope you guys find it useful. Again, if you guys have any other insights from your experiences, what helped you, I would love to have you put those in the comment section below so we can all kind of help each other out. And I just like to remind you about these books. Um, it would be so helpful if you guys also support me in it with them. Um, they're just hopefully great ways to be able to connect with each other. I find that something in our society, that connection is a really hard thing to build and maintain. And so I hope that's kind of a way to be able to help stimulate um, those connections, even with just 
friends, I find that sometimes we don't really even get, to, we don't really know each other as well as we should. And so um, those are in the description below and I'll see you guys in another video, another life you never know. Bye.